Japanese artist Motoi Yamamoto is something of a magician. Although he does not utilize sleight of hand, he creates installations that encourage the mind to travel between astonishment and wonder. His medium is salt, yet the effect of his labors is transcendence. He uses salt to create mental maps, miniatures of the mind. Yet in his case, he doesn't seem to choose material merely for the sake of novelty or originality. Yamamoto's artistic trajectory is full of innovations and surprises. His ability to adapt his concepts to the various configurations and idiosyncrasies of the galleries and exhibition spaces that have displayed his work serves as a source of inspiration. So, Yamamoto is known for working with salt, often in the form of temporary, intricate, large-scale installations. Salt is a traditional symbol for purification and mourning in Japanese culture. Motoi forged a connection to the elements while mourning the death of his sister at 24 from brain cancer and began to create art out of salt in an effort to preserve his memories of her. His art radiates an intense beauty and tranquility, but also conveys something ineffable, yet endless. Motoi views his installations as exercises that are at once futile, yet necessary to his healing. で、ま、ある程度はこんな感じにしよう。例えば渦の形がこういう風な動きにしようとかっていうのを大体決めてからそのコンピューターの中で画像を重ねてって具体的な形をある程度決めて。で、またそこからあの手書きのスケッチに置
からの目線だけだとやっぱりちょっとその魅力が十分伝わらないんだよね。それは今までの経験上その上からの視点を持てる会場例えば2006年にあった図書館での展示もそうだけどもう明らかに人々が楽しめてるっていうことが分かるわけ、うん、すごく楽しそうに見てくれてるから。An important aspect of the installation is the dismantling of Motoy's work. At the end of each show, the salt is delivered back to the water, usually in collaboration with the public, hence the title, Return to the Sea. It's not a little bit of a feeling, but it's not a little bit of a feeling. It's not a little bit of a feeling, but it's not a little bit of a feeling. It's not a little bit of a feeling. こうしてる時のみんなの顔がすごく楽しそうでした。モトイ recognizes that salt is a vital part of many living things. Each grain of salt contains its own history and trajectory. Something so seemingly common becomes a metaphor for the evanescence and transcendence of human life. モトイ's art might most productively be compared to the intricate sand mandalas created by Tibetan Buddhist monks. In both cases, the work is destroyed at the end of a predetermined interval and returned to a body of water, thus enacting the circularity and ephemerality of life. Both are used to induce meditation and to assess the deeper reaches of human consciousness.